now admit it. You missed me. You missed laughing at this guy. Well, I have missed talking to you, even if you're just a lens. But I get to pretend. I get to see all you people out there in YouTube land. Yay. Hi, everyone. Hi. And no, I don't have to pretend you're naked so I, you know, feel comfortable talking. It's a camera, people. Come on. I just pretend you're all naked for the fun of it. Anyways, stick around. I'll tell you what I've been up to. Some photo stuff going on. Okay, here we go. Cue the logo. Wow! I, I swear the whole world may be against me for, like, filming YouTube this month. Good. I finally got the intro filled, and I'm like, yeah, all right, we're on a roll. I got my groove back. And then a phone call, and I'm like, uh, 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 and now I'm all like, I don't want to film. I'm a big baby. So anyways, what have you all been up to? Write me a comment and let me know. I miss you guys. I, like I said in the intro, I miss the smiling faces, even though it's just a piece of glass on my end. Okay, um, back on point. Already off kilter, off skew, off tangented, tangented. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I've always wanted to try light painting, and I saw some really cool images on Instagram and all this stuff of this model in like Death Valley, and got like a circle of light behind her, and she's like in this gorgeous ballerina pose, stuff like this. Um, something I've always wanted to try. So since I've been bad about YouTube videos. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's at least go out and shoot, cause that's what I like to do. Okay, I need it. I need it for me. I need it for you. I need it. The world needs me to. Otherwise, I go nuts and crazy, and it's like that. So, did a little bit of research. Uh, I got a light bar. Tried that out a few times. Some things worked. Some things didn't. And then I found out a way to get a big old four foot long tube, and trying to light through that and all this stuff, and uh, that is my preferred technique of what I was able to do with that as of now. I mean, I'm definitely just learning this. So we were out having fun, drinking and whatnot, and I got the tubes and we we're, you know, having fun. Um, this is my first successful light painting image with the tube. Just had my friend Emma go up to a tree, you know, where I could find focus and whatnot because we were just having fun with a tripod and I was using no models. I was using trees and trying different patterns with the bar and whatnot. Um, but this one was the first one that actually turned out. So Emma, thank you for posing for me for, you know, however long. I think it was like 10 seconds or whatnot. Um, spun the flashlight around or the tube around. I had some lights in the foreground lighting up the foreground. Works out all right. The, the circle isn't perfect, but I'm all right with that. You can, you can see my legs and stuff on her right side, the left side of the image. But whatever, it was fun. It was my first successful one, and I'll take it. So saying that a little bit later, had the girlfriend uh, drink a beer for me in between two trees because just wanted to try it with a different person and see how things went in a different little location and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so this is one shot, did a big circle, and then did some swirlies on each side and whatnot. Um, definitely still learning, having fun. My balance is really off on this one, but, you know, whatever. Um, so then the next night I was supposed to shoot a model in a dress and all this stuff. Um, she had to bail, unfortunately. So instead of wasting my night, I shot my tree and I went out and I just tried a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of techniques. I tried, you know, two lights, one on strobe, one on full and I tried it at different times of day and all this stuff. Um, so this one kind of turned out, I really like it because it is shot more in daytime. So that was my success there. This one was same tree, a little bit later at night. Had to put some lights again in the foreground to light up the front. And then I just went to town in the background. Um, this was more of a stacked image just to see how that would work. So it is two shots. One shot for the right hand side of the tree, one for the left hand side. And then I just put those two together. Obviously I'm shooting on a tripod so my composition doesn't move, etc., etc., And so I can use a longer shutter speed to get the streaks of light. Uh, this one, I just said, okay, you know what? Screw the tree. I'm just going to go out and do some stuff on the trail and see how it turns out. So this was my favorite one of these. Got a little wee, 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 wee. And then I spun around backwards. It's like, yeah. So, yeah, just trying new things. Different settings on the camera, different lights, different movements. You know, whatever. So it's fun. 
On the third night, I was able to find someone to come out and shoot with me. The original model still couldn't make it, so I found another one. Um, so this woman came out for me, and I was like, hey, I've got a couple of concepts in mind. Haven't really been able to nail them or perfect them, but if you're willing to try, I would love to try them out. So she was very patient with me. She came out, her and her husband, and it was, it was a really fun time. We had a blast. Um, tons and tons of bugs, and of course, I have this big old light thing in my hand so like walking back my hand was covered in gnats and bugs i'm like oh god this is horrible but i had to hold the light for my model and her husband so anyways this one turned out all right you can uh, see me in the background a little bit unfortunately but something i'm still learning and she did great at holding still for the most part there's a few like little i mean that in three seconds is way too much for the image but i don't know We'll figure out something to do about that. Shorter times, I don't know. Anyways, um, this one was one of my favorite shots um, just because I love the like wing look of it and I, I spent my time. I was a little bit in the background of the lights, but through editing, I took most of me out. Still needs, still needs work, don't get me wrong, but I'm happy. And so the other concept that I was letting her know was the flying dress. Um, basically, you take an image of someone in a dress, woman, man, dog, tree, doesn't matter, your subject in a dress, and you take that shot, and you take that dress off, and then you flap it all over the place while you're shooting and whatnot, and then basically you, you layer all those fragments, if you will, on top of your base image, and you get this really cool flowing flying dress. Um, by no means whatsoever is this perfect. I don't think it's believable, especially on the big screen. But for a first attempt, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. Diesels, really? Come on. Just kidding. Anyways, so by no means is this my one and only attempt at this. I'm definitely going to try it again with all the images I shot on that night. But I'm also going to try it with different girls, different dresses, different fabrics, see what works, see what doesn't, perfect all my blending and stuff in Photoshop. But it was it was great to get out and have fun and try new things and to still walk away with a fairly decent image. I'm I'm happy. Happy, happy Justin. So with all that being said, oh, one thing real quick, uh, that last video. The whole music is like 30 seconds long and I was spinning the steel wool on fire in the tunnel and I had the mask and all that stuff. So that was for a competition that I entered on YouTube. Um, Epidemicsound.com put on this competition with some YouTubers. And basically what it was was a B-roll challenge. If you don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is basically supplemental footage added onto your actual footage. Um, to help set the scene or the pace or the mood or whatever, just to help build things up, just to 360 that, that story, that moment, as opposed to just straight on. Um, so pretty much anything works. But the challenge was between 30 seconds to a minute long, had to be nothing but B-roll, um, had to use reflections, and you had to use one of the 10 songs that they put in a list, uh, sponsored by epidemicsound.com and Hayden Christensen, Seventh Era, and North Borders, three big YouTubers that are all these, glad I might. Anyways, uh, good guys, good channels, check them out. Uh, they inspire me a lot, so, you know, check them out. Give them a like, a thumbs up, all that YouTube stuff that we always say. Anyways, back on point. So basically, out of the 10 songs, I chose what I felt was gonna be the hardest one, just to push myself and challenge myself. And then I went somewhere and I, I spent half the day trying things. And I'm like, that's not working. Try this. Nope, that's not working either. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I don't shoot a lot of B-rolls. You guys obviously can see that in my videos. Something I need to work on. So that's why I really, really pushed myself. Um, so yeah, I chose the hardest song. I went down to the tunnel and I spun some steel wool, lit it on fire and all this stuff. And I had my cool little mask. Um, used reflections. I didn't go overboard with them. But... I didn't think that was essential. I thought it was better subtle, you know, less is more. Anyways, um, I didn't win. I thought I was in the running, but I wasn't. But that's okay. 
because I learned a lot and it humbled me, it got me back to my core of like, hey, screw that. Shoot YouTube videos for you and for the fans that follow you. Who cares if you don't win a competition and go get to meet lots of people and like you meet one person and all of a sudden your channel skyrockets and whatnot. That's not what I'm doing this for. And so losing that competition was helpful. It hurt, but it was very helpful because it got me back and I'm like, hmm, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm doing YouTube for fun. Yeah. So there you go. No pressure. So big thank you to uh, North Border, Seventh Era, Hayden Christensen, and Epidemic Sound for putting that contest on. I appreciate y'all, even if I didn't win. Just kidding. So, with all that being said, uh, just want to let everyone know, in Los Alamos, New Mexico, I will be having a gallery showing of my infrared photos around Los Alamos. So make it out if you can. I will keep this promo short um mid-november 2019 los alamos new mexico don't know the exact date but there you go just start thinking about it all right anyways i'm gonna shut up so i'll see you guys in the next video don't know what it's gonna be don't know when it's gonna be but yeah it's gonna be fun i missed you guys thank you for watching for loving on me for hitting the thumbs up or the thumbs down or the subscribe or whatever buttons you're clicking hopefully comments anyways thank you for everything Mwah. and until next time keep shooting friends Mwah.